The president was represented by the Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, Zainab Bada, at a first ever global maritime security conference in Abuja, reiterated the need for a joint effort to tackle threats. He said security in the region is vital to global trade in view of the fact that many critical trade routes connecting the continent to the rest of the world run through the Gulf. He also said safety and security of sea transportation are critical for seamless trade and effective economic integration, especially now that Africa is fudging ahead with the phase two negotiations for the creation of the African continental free trade area. I still have my guest with me in the studio, Tunji Abdlamid. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank and legal you. practitioner, of course. We have uh, Austin Peacemaker, security affairs analyst. Pleasure to have you join us. Thank you. Uh, just let me start with your thoughts on the speech about needing um, global collective efforts of stakeholders to tackle maritime security. Uh, it, 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 it shows that uh, Nigeria has begun to take its place among nations in the world. We are seen as big brothers in Africa and, and it, is, it is necessary for us to begin to understand that regional security also is paramount to our own security within our country. It's just like the saying that goes that insecurity anywhere in the world is insecurity everywhere in the world. For our waterways to be safe, for our mar maritime domain to be, to be secured and ensure that there's thriving business activities and commercial activities, where there's need for us to partner with other countries. And I think it's a good call by Mr. President. His speech was, was, was wonderful. It shows that for us to have room brought the world to our doorstep, to our, to, our, to, our, to, to our country, to say, let's discuss the issue of security along the maritime uh, uh, Gulf of Guinea shows that we are beginning to take our place in Africa and also in the world in, in terms of security because we are seen as a big brother of Africa. We are called the giant of Africa. So I'm happy that Mr. the Nigeria took this initiative to, to put this together and the speech was wonderful. The, beyond the wonderful speech, let's look at the stats that was presented uh, during that speech. And one of them is that um, Buhari quoted uh, 2019 statistics um, saying, it indicates that efforts to eradicate, eradicate rather, the menace by the government of the region are yielding results. He's saying that security situation around the Gulf area seems not so bad as in previous years. Do you agree? Yeah, may, probably maybe because uh, before now, where piracy and the arms robbery at, at our sea level, or whatever, has been an issue. I, 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 in fact, thirty percent of it is about piracy covered. Thirty uh, percent of uh, of the of the of the issue with, with regards to security in that regard, I, I think the call is a, is good because uh, they, they are asking for a, a proper a further enforcement a legal framework, mm -hmm. and uh, to, that will ensure that proper adequate security is given, and the adequate punishment is given whenever that is uh, happen. You know the the the, the way Nigeria, Cote d'Ivoire, and Togo they were mostly well affected in this area in terms of uh, uh, this uh, piracy and other things uh, on our waterway. So we need to move, they have to be more secured. The maritime, uh, 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 if, they are, if our water system is not secure, they, they may not be able to, our kudol is not safe, and other things are not safe. The people will just, be, they will just be carrying out uh, illegal activities and they will be making away with it. So they are calling for law that will ensure and protect and, and ensure check on this uh, issue. So they want a proper uh, improvement in our legal framework. To ensure that. I think we actually have. There is, he, the, the statement also mentioned the suppression of piracy and other uh, maritime offense acts. It was yeah, signed said, into uh, law. Yeah, I said they are mm -hmm. looking. For, they are asking for improvement on it. In other words, look at the other area of it that has not been properly covered. But this and was just see, a recent bill. Couldn't see, uh, have that have been covered? Law cannot be. There's no way law can. This take was care signed in June 2019. Uh, maybe some other thing has come up that they want to. They want to see it. It's not, it's not only. It's not only in Nigeria that we're talking about now. It's other. We're talking about other African country. They should collaborate. If we have our own law, that that, oh, that is that is, that is good, and they don't have enough law. That can, that can protect, you know, once you leave our soul and you move to the other soul, uh, uh, you you can, the, our law will is, not apply. Is it no. actually a, an inadequacy in the law framework or it is the implementation of these laws that is, uh, that is an issue? Because you remember um, when our borders were closed for rice importation from some countries, we heard that some of these uh, smugglers chose to go by sea, meaning that there must be something that 
I mean, there's no. I'm saying that there's no adequate security provided in that area because it's very dangerous to be on those pirates, those who are, uh, uh, who are into that uh, piracy or whatever. They have more sophisticated weapons than those who are even uh, uh, supposed to be um, protected. Exactly. So that's what they are calling for. They are calling for improvement in the in the legal framework and the security strategy in that area. And, and so know, they want the situation. Laws differs from different countries. Yeah. Just as you say, if you leave the waterway of the Nigerian waterway, you are not bounded by the laws of another country probably the law of the nearby country that you are going through. And if their laws are not as robust as our laws, it's, it's going to be very difficult. Okay, what, what sort of specific, in specific terms, what sort of uh, improvements are you looking to see in maritime security across the, the region? There, there, should, there should be a, a robust, uh, there should be treaties that, that should be signed by both countries that are involved, that have the same waterway, that do the same maritime business. Should be, there should be treaties, there should be agreements that should be signed that will protect both parties and protect both nations. I think that one is very, very specific. It's, it's straight to the point that both countries need to come together. And I think this is what this conference is out to also achieve to sign treaties to agree because if I choose it's just like it's just like when uh, the, uh, the, during the heat of Boko Haram uh, attack in Nigeria and the uh, Nigerian came out to say oh that we are playing our own part but around Niger Chad there are loops oh it seems this country are not are not are not helping us to achieve this fight probably they came from this side or they came from this country and all so I it's just the same with waterways maritime laws so there's need for both countries to come together and agree to say okay Let's protect ourselves. And do more. And to do ensure more. that there is adequate security. You know, we said when you join and to, to combat an issue, you, you, you can get a thing done by doing it alone. So even if you are doing it alone and other people are not uh, supporting that regard, you know, and when we talk about the uh, go, uh, Gulf of Guinea, we are talking about so many countries, it's not only Nigeria, yeah. but uh, so, but you know, the most, we are mostly affected, particularly those of us in the West and Central uh, Africa, the Cote d'Ivoire, Togo, Nigeria, and some of, you know. So the, if there is no adequate security, if there is no proper planning as, as for, from each of the, uh, the countries that are, that are involved in it, we may not be able to get any result. Even if we are doing well, the ones they escape to that area, they, they, that, is, that is all. So you have everybody, they are calling everybody to, do, to be on, uh, at a large, provide enough security, improve on your security uh, uh, facility or whatever to ensure that uh, we are able to cover this uh, piracy and the Amrabi on the, on the, on the maritime uh, 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 situation. Is this conversation coming up because of the free trade zone agreement that we just signed and you know ways is this the reason we signed this a free trade agreement and we're blocking our border for other countries to come in I, I, what, 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 are you not seeing so, so how, because how, if you sign how, a trade, how does it all work together that you have said it the, so most time our problem is about enforcement and implementation we we don't implement very well we don't enforce very well because i don't see a situation whereby you sign a, a, a free trade agreement and you are blocking your border against other countries. I asked somebody yesterday, I said, look, if, other, if every country should block its border, or close its border for, for, for while the Nigeria will be able to survive on whatever uh, what he has alone. So he, 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 block, block, to me, blocking the border completely is not a, a what, but that, that's not, that's not a that's, that, that's, about that's, it. that's by the side, today, today. I, I get what, what you're side. saying, yeah. So the, 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 what they are saying here, I think I agree with them, uh, the need for them to collaborate, the need for them to work together as, a, as, as one, to be able to, 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 to kill or to even uh, fight the, the piracy and the Amrabi and now that way more, more, more. more. Um, I, I'll still ask you the same question. Like, what, where, where is, is it because of the free trade zone that we're having this conversation now? Or the conversation is isolated on its own because of its importance suddenly? What do you mean by suddenly, first of all? Yeah. I mean, we've not had this kind of global conference uh, to my knowledge, yes, yes, until now. Yes, yes, this is this is the force, and and as we know, uh, this conference was not just uh, planned or conceived in a day. This conference have, have been put in place in their in their project, sorry, in their budget, in their plans and policies for the for the year. So I I, th I think it goes beyond that. But it, it you know it, it, it's not too late to begin to look at issues that offer solutions. It's not too late. Even as, as, as at the last minute, just as they say, they say the 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 the, the, uh, the free trade zone. And, and you are blocking your uh, you are blocking your borders. That is not that is not what we are discussing today. But however, I think the conference the conference is coming at the right time, because uh, recently the uh, other countries are beginning to identify with Nigeria Nigerian Navy. We are, we are even US, even India. They came their ship came to Nigeria. They came to have partnership 
agreement. They even trained most of our most of our officers, naval officers, and all. So I think uh, Nigeria is beginning to take its place. And I think if Nigeria is say, oh, we we are our neighbors, let's come together, let's discuss the issue of safety and security of our waterway in order to fight piracy. I think it's good. It doesn't matter at what time it's coming, but the most important is that it has come up and it success. The, the success is what we are waiting to see as Nigerians. We want to see, okay, this conference was held, and since then we have seen improvement in our in the, in the, in, in the security and safety of our waterway. That I'm told we have two minutes. That's maritime sector. What about internal security in this country? Are we showing similar commitment? Do, isn't it time we had similar conferences to actually find, because it seems the security situation is overwhelming for our leaders. We, I think we have had so many conferences regarding uh, internal security. And then uh, uh, we are just regarding this my time wherever I think we are just waking up from our slumber, and which is good. Uh, you know, it, it's good. But we have been having so serious of like we, we are. So always, if, if if we've like been having serious, so where like is Like what I said, implementation and enforcement is our problem. Uh, you know, what's we the, have we always have good policies. We always have good plans sometimes. But the issue of how to uh, implementation. That's when the, we, our budget was presented today. The budget when you read it, you say ah these are at the end of the day there won't be any implementation. The 2019 budget we just have spent f uh, four months. Out of it, I've not seen anything regarding the implementation of, a, of that budget, and I'm not sure we'll see any level of implementation that will amount to 50 percent before the end of the year. So uh, our problem is not about policy or whatever; it's about implementation and enforcement, which we have to improve on. Well, let's hope we'll see better implementation in the future. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for coming on the program. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you, your thoughts. Thank you. And thank you for watching so far. But we're not done yet. We'll take a short break. I'll take a look at our plus packages. And when we come back, I'll give you my take to stay with us. Governors under the name the Progressive Governors Forum, belonging to the All Progressives Congress, visited the National Assembly in an effort to build ties with the legislative arm of government following the dispute arising from the crisis which emanated from the inauguration of the Balji and Edo State Houses of Assembly. The governors, led by the governor of Katsina State, Aminu Masari, paid a courtesy call to the president of the Senate and the speaker of the House of Representatives, emphasizing on the need to build trust. Governor Masari urged all present to manage current political relations in the interest of the nation and comply with the provisions of the party's constitution. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabe Amila, also did not hide his displeasure over the recent court ruling barring the House of Representatives from taking over the Edo State House of Assembly. So as leaders, as concerns, we need to make amends, especially in the area of management of political relations across all blocks of party stakeholders. We need not to remind ourselves of what happened between 2015 and 2019. We unfortunately uh, allowed the avoidable circumstances to give a new life to our political opponents, especially parties in opposition to APC, like BDP. We have not managed our personal aspirations to contest elections through the inability of our party leadership to pensively ensure broad consultations leading to collective decisions that are the causes of most of these avoidable circumstances. We know what has happened, the build-up to 2019, the crisis we have in so many states, within our own political party. I'm sure this paragraph in particular is referring to those crises that would have been avoided. Recognizing that conflicting demands from all stakeholders will not be easy to manage. Compliance with provisions of our party's constitution. We intend to remain very resolute. We intend to remain very loyal uh, to the party and the principles the party stands for. We intend to remain committed and dedicated to Nigerian ideals of making sure that Nigeria provides all the necessary uh, uh, services to citizens, and especially when it comes to the area of ensuring uh, the security, safety, and welfare of, uh, of citizens. Uh, it is necessary that the two 
levels, in fact, all the levels of government work together. We have certain issues that we cannot do alone at the national level. When we have to take out uh, 11, 12, or 13, or even 14 million children out of school, off the streets, the federal government cannot do that alone. Uh, this is something that I think the, the two levels of the one, particularly the states and the federal government, will have to work together. And the states, I want to uh, assure our governors here, you have partners uh, in the National Assembly. We believe that we can do far better, we can do more when we work together and we are here representing the states. Those of us on this side, uh, the National Assembly, um, are a little bit perturbed and surprised that um, we will, a judgment will be given against the explicit constitutional rules of the National Assembly as prescribed in Section 12 of the Constitution, which is written in very unambiguous language. Um, we, we, we are a bit concerned that, uh, uh, of course, there are three arms of government and we will, to serve notice, be going to court on this matter to resolve it, not just for this moment, but for the future, so that issues like that do not, um, do not come up again as one party. Uh, uh, there's so much expected of us in, uh, in, um, uh, in, this, in this government. We are going to need one another. It's going to have to be a symbiotic relationship between the governors and the legislators. And that's what we look forward to. We will probably have a more robust conversation after the press has gone out and uh, we'll have the presentation. I am unsure what to make of the result of the findings made public by the Nigerian Defence Headquarters on the killings of the police officers who were on legitimate national assignment. Unless there is more to come, the information provided in the media, as far as I am concerned, is not enough. As I said then, when the story broke, and we talked about it here, the families of the slain police officers deserve better explanation and a real sense that justice has been served. Away from the findings, though, it is of utmost importance that the families are taken care of as our collective show of appreciation to the officers who died in the course of serving their fatherland. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the program tonight. Please join us again at 7 p.m. for another engaging session. Until next time, God bless you.